Hallelujah, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's celebrate with these songs. Amen. to the world 
the world the Lord is come Let earth receive a king Let every bird be prepare him a room And heaven and earth to sing And heaven and to sing And heaven and earth and nature sing Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumph. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Oh, come, all ye ho, born a king, king of ages. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore Oh, come, all he faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, he come to Bethlehem. Oh, come and behold, born a king. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, let us adore in Christ. Oh, sing, wise of angels. Sing in exaltation, oh come, oh come to bear the Come and behold, born a king. Oh come, oh come, oh come. Come on, somebody adore him. From the beginning, oh come on, he faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh come, he more calling to come and behold. He's born. Yeah, oh come, come, let us adore him. Come, 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 Can somebody sing? Can somebody sing? Oh, sing, oh, sing, cries out. Sing in exaltation. Yes. Come and behold. He's born a king. Oh, come, oh, come. Oh, come, oh, come. Oh, come, oh, come. Come on, put those hands together like this. One more time. Oh, come, oh, come. Please come, let's adore him together. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yeah, yes. Come, oh sing, oh sing, Christ of angels, sing it exalted. Oh, come ye, oh come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold. Somebody puts his hands together and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. 
him and give him a dance. They have an angel sing Ding dong very little sky It's driven me they just sing Go go Come on church Come on church Oh oh Gloria is Hosanna ring Ding dong Ding dong merrily on high In heaven The bells are singing Ding dong Verily the sky Is ribbon Come on somebody declare Gloria Gloria Hosanna Gloria Hallelujah One more time Hosanna Can we shout Glory Gloria 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 Gloria, Hosanna! Come on, somebody declare Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Hosanna in the houses. Hallelujah! worship him today let's lift our hands and thank him for the opportunity to be here today let's thank God for the heavenly angels for seeing the end of 2018 for all the good things the salvation of Jesus Christ has brought to our lives let's worship Jesus let's worship the heavenly angels let's worship God let's thank him for everything he's done in our life today Let's give him all the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we
thank you for this praise and worship. Even as the service goes on, Lord, we pray that you come to save our lives and we shall have more and more testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Worship. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Long gone. Your very words spoken to me. This is my day. This is my daily breath. Your very word spoken to me. Someone desperate for Jesus this morning, and I, and I, I'm lost without. Is there anybody who want to help me see God song this morning? This is the air I breathe. Come on, church. Your very word, your very word has been spoken to me, spoken to me. One more time. This is the air I breathe. Come on, church, say. This is the air. This is the air I breathe. Lord God, we breathe you this morning. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your very word spoken to me, spoken. without you we're lost without you I'm lost without you I'm desperate for you Lord God how many of us want to declare this morning that we're lost without him he's everything he's our all in all we are nothing without Jesus. We are nothing without Jesus. He is the reason we are still standing. He's the reason why we went to bed yesterday and woke up this morning. If not for God, if not for Jesus, where we will be? Lord, we worship you. Is there anyone who want to give him worship this morning? Is there anybody who wants to raise their voices and just sing a new song to him this morning? Tell him how much you love him. Give him praise for his reason. 
give him praise give him worship because he came into this world on the day set aside today for us to reverence him lord we worship you we give you worship we give you worship we worship you we worship you we worship you we worship you lord we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we give you worship. We thank you, Lord God, because you are God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are our King. We thank you, Lord God, because you were born to rescue us. You stood in the gap for us, Lord God. We worship you. Father, we give you all the praise. Take total preeminence, Lord God. Take all our worship. For you deserve every bit of it, Lord God. For in Jesus' name we have worship. For in Jesus' name we have worship. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise. Our God is good, amen. Please, you can be seated. The choir has a special number that will want to minister and we hope you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
done it all this morning, I would have just said, let's just be going home. Because there is no point speaking the word again because they have spoken to us, all of us. But all the same, I believe God has a word for every one of us here today. And this, is a, this is a very important season to the whole world. Even the animals, they feel it. Some chicken, they feel it. In, in, in chicken's kingdom, they feel it. If there is any time that the chicken kingdom will be praying not to come, this is the season. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for another time and for another privilege to see another Christmas. And we will be forever grateful unto God for making it possible for us. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning I have a special message for every one of us. Not only for those people that are in the church right now, but also for those that are watching us online. Because this message I'm about to preach it's not something I heard from any preacher. Not something that I read from a writer. It was a revelation that was given to me by God himself. And I'm going to be preaching from two key scriptures. Amen. When I was preparing this message, I got to a point that I needed to sample some opinion about Christmas. My daughter and my son will remember this now. I asked them a question and at different times. 
I said to my son, I think we can let the children stay in the church today because I believe they are going to also benefit from the message. But if you really want them to go, they can go. If, if you really want them to, but if you want them to stay, they can stay. I asked them a question and the question I said, what is the reason for Christmas? It was a very simple question. It was a very it was very easy for my son to answer. He said, the reason for Christmas is that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. And I also asked my daughter, at least that one is a little bit I mean advanced. She has matured more than him. I asked her at a different time and she also said the same thing. She said, the reason for Christmas is that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. Is it true? And I'm sure if I ask every one of us today, the reason why we normally celebrate Christmas, the first thing that comes to mind is the Son of God. The celebration of the birth of the new born baby, the new king, the king of kings and the lord of lords to the whole world. But today, God gave me a different revelation about Christmas. I am not saying that the reason for celebrating Christmas is not about Jesus. Don't get me wrong. Don't quote me wrong. But despite this, God gave me a different revelation about Christmas and I want you to add it to what you've got before. Don't throw away what you had before. Don't throw it away. One of the reasons for celebrating Christmas is about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. The born, the birth of Jesus. So hold that one in your right hand. But this very one that I'm about to to reveal to you today or that God is about to reveal to us today I want you also to add it to what you've got before because I'm trying not to confuse you with this message I'm trying to bring it home now the scripture we are going to be reading this morning is taken from a very popular scripture and I'm sure if I ask any one of us here one of the scriptures that it's easy for us to quote because it's been said all the time, even when we are young. John 3, 16. And I'm going to be reading from 16 and 17. I read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth or believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And verse 17 says, For God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now from the scripture we've just read to us, I'm, I'm going to be taking every sentence in the scripture one after the other the scripture says for God so loved the world now the first key word in this place is God himself then the second one is love for God so loved the world so one of the reasons why we celebrate Christmas is because God loved the world. If God did not love the world, God will not allow this Christmas to come to being. And I'm going to prove to you today. Many of us, we have thrown some important message about Christmas away while celebrating the birth of Jesus, there is 
an important aspect of this Christmas that we have thrown away. And I'm going to reveal it to you today. For God so loved the world that he gave. What did the scripture say? That he gave. His only begotten son. Because God loved the world. So much. He loved the world so much. Everything he has created. And God sees that everything was going to be destroyed. That he will have no choice. But to destroy the world. Because the world has gone into sin. And this sin. God cannot bear the sins. And God said to himself, I have to destroy the whole world. Even the second time. But because he loved the world, he said everything that I've created, I don't want to use my hand to destroy it once again. The kind of love that God has for us is what we call agape love. And God said, the only thing for me to spare these people from being destroyed is the remission of blood. The remission of blood. I must see blood. Even God himself could not withhold himself. Because he knew that the sins of the world has gone so deep that even if he says to himself, let me forgive these people and let them move on. He said to himself, anytime they revisit their sins or anytime they do such things again, I will still go back to my anger and I may eventually destroy the world. The only thing for me is to look for something that must come in form of blood. So that when I see that blood, no matter how angry I am, I have to calm down. And now, God did something. The scripture says he gave. What did he give? He gave his only begotten son. Something that is precious to him. Now, let me explain the word begotten. The word begotten is an ancient word. It's the kind of word that is no more in use today. The only, the only place you can find this word is in the Bible. Begotten. And the word begotten was brought out from the word beget. Beget. And what does the beget mean? Beget means to father. To give birth to. To father. So the only thing that God could give to, to, I mean, to save the world is his only son. The only person he has ever fathered. The only thing he has the only thing that is precious to him. He said, if I give this, anytime I'm hungry, when I see it, then I will remember that precious thing to me. So, he gave. Now, the first lesson I want you to understand today, or I want you to get today, is the spirit behind the Christmas, if God had not given his only begotten son, the only son he has, we will not be talking about the birth of Jesus. And every one of us, we have thrown that away. We did not, we, we, we did not think about the reason behind the coming of Jesus. Because God asked to give. So he gave his only begotten son the only thing that is precious to him. And that is why we can talk about Jesus today. 
Now he said that whosoever believe it in him. Believe it in him. And that is why he said that because he's my only son, because he has to come to die for your sin, he said, I have lifted his name above every other name. That whosoever believed in what? In him. I have lifted his name above every other name. And he also said, at the mention of his name, every knee must bow. Because Jesus was so precious to God. Now, I'm trying to drive it home. Where am I going is this. The most important part of Christmas is giving. Because God has to give. He gave his only begotten son. Anytime we are talking about Christmas, we need to remember what God gave to bring about this celebration. He gave something so special. He gave something so precious to him. He gave the only thing he has. The only family he has. He gave. And that is why no season in this world can be compared to Christmas. Even heaven himself recognized the season. God is mourning in heaven. The day he gave his only begotten son. This is the very time God lose something. He let it go. And as we are rejoicing in the world that Jesus has come to die for your sin, God is money in heaven. Because something was given. A vessel out of him was given. So as we celebrate Christmas around the world today or tomorrow, I want you to have something in your mind that somebody gave. God gave something and something precious for your life. So also this spirit must go into every one of us. The spirit of giving and not just giving. You have to give something precious to you, to God. As we are appreciating each other, as you are giving to those people, the, your neighbors, in many places in the world today, there is some kind of culture, some kind of rituals that everybody must give card. If you go to my neighborhood now, every one of us, we are 16 houses in my neighborhood, in my clothes. Every one of us, every year, we have to give card. Even if you don't greet each other, from January to December, we meet, we drive past, nobody talks, everybody mind their business, but in Christmas, everybody will come to your door and drop a card. That is how powerful this season is. Somebody gave. Amen. Now, the scripture went further. He said that whosoever believed or believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting what? Everlasting life. And that will take me to the second scripture. The second scripture is taken from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 1. And I want to read 20 and 21. He says, while, but while he brought, I mean, he taught about these things. Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of Holy Spirit. And she bring and she will bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sin. Now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall be saved. The scripture has just been confirmed in the book of Matthew that whosoever believes in him shall be saved. Because a son has been born unto us today. And what is the reason for the birth? 
to save the world. The only reason why we are celebrating today is because God gave to save our lives. And you know, when I was preparing this message, I thought of those people that says giving is not in the Bible. I thought of those people that says people should not be paying tithe. That it is not written in the Bible. They, 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 they went against Malachi. That God says, I need 10% of your giving, and of your income. Now, we are not even talking about God himself has done something beyond 10%. God gave 100%. God has demonstrated in John 3.16 that he can give 100%. So what will you give to God that will outshine what God has given to you? God gave 100%. He gave his son. I'm, I'm just wondering if somebody will ask me, my only son, and said, you know, this boy, I want to take him away for one year. You're not going to see him for one year. I can't. I won't. Let him be out of my sight for one year. Not seeing my only son. And somebody, God gave his only begotten son. Not only for one year. Because he is coming to die. Giving is scriptural. Giving is of God. Because he demonstrated this to the whole world. He gave something special to him. So what? Will you be able to give to God to outshine him? So whatever you are giving to God, whatever you are doing for God, be it your talent, be it your money, be it your substance, whatever, whatsoever you are giving to God, you can never outshine God. Because he gave. Now, why did, this, why did, why did God give? God said to himself, look, if I forgive these people, they will come back to their sin. And if they come back to their sin, I will still revisit my anger on them. God said, if I give something precious to me, so anytime I'm angry and I see Jesus on the cross, I have no choice but to say, oh my God, oh. God will just look away from your sin. And that is why many of us will commit sins hundred times. As you are committing, you are saying, forgive me in the name of Jesus. Immediately you said, in the name of Jesus. God will look at the cross and will forgive you. That is why that name is so precious. That is why God has to give something that is precious to him. So that your prayer could be answered today. So anytime you are looking for something from God. Anytime you want God to do something for you. You need to give something precious. Something outrageous. Something outstanding. Do you want the fruit of the womb? Give something and say, God, I am giving this to it. Do you want to get married? Give something as God has given it all. Do you want a good job? Give something and target. This is my seed for the job. It is a revelation. And it's not for everybody. Unless you get to that point to understand. You know, let me tell you something today. If you don't understand. There is something that can work more than your prayer. The only thing that can work more than your prayer is your giving. Because giving we unlock. It will not lock the door. I mean, it will not knock the door. Where your prayer is still knocking the door and said, forgive him. When you give, it breaks the door. And that is why God has to give. He gave his only begotten son. Giving. So the spirit of Christmas, the mystery behind Christmas is giving. And that is why it is not enough for you to be happy alone in this Christmas. It is not enough for you and your household to be happy alone. You also need to look for others around you to make them happy because God gave for your happiness. God gave for your life. Now, let me, give, let me set an example in the scripture so that you understand what I'm saying. The only person that could have given more, that, that, that could have given the same way God gave was Abraham. And why did God call Abraham his friend? 
Because God realized that he was going to give his son. God said to him, he, sent, he said to him to go to a mountain, to a place, to go and kill his son for him. And Abraham was about to do it. He has, in fact, he was going to do it. And God knew his intentions. God knew that he was about to do it. God knew he was going to do it. Before God sent an angel to stop him. And you know, because he did what he did, God said, because you did not withheld your only son from me. God now gave him an open check. God said, because nobody has ever done except me, God, your God. Nobody has ever done what you are about to do. So God said, in blessing, I will bless you. God gave him an open check. Because what he did, he could have killed his son. God assumed that he has done it. Your intention matters to God. So when you come before the Lord and you are rolling on the ground, but inside of you, there are death in your heart. God knows your intention. It is not about to come to the presence of God and begin to sing that matters. It is the heart that you are using to sing to God that matters to him. It is not about service alone. It is about the heart of service in you that matters. No wonder Jesus said to everyone, when they came to the temple and Jesus, Jesus ordered them to give. And as they were giving, a widow came and he gave everything she has. Just little. But Jesus said to them all, said, among every one of you, the highest giver that I can see here today is this woman, this widow. Because Jesus knows her heart. Jesus sees her intention. Your intention matters to God. In everything you do in this world, your intention matters. And that is why Abraham, nobody has ever been rich as Abraham did today. Even Solomon was a descendant of Abraham, isn't it? God gave and so we must give. I want somebody to come out. Those people that are speaking around the world that nobody should give. I want them to come out and challenge that God himself has not given. So if God himself has given something precious to him, then why should we not give as Christians? My message is simple and short today. The revelation has been revealed for every one of us as we celebrate around the world today, let us remember that what we are celebrating today is not just about Jesus alone. It's about God himself who has given his son to us. And that principle of giving must be recognized all over the world. That principle of giving must be appreciated. So if we appreciate God, we will appreciate the people around us. Because that person... That your neighbor that does not have something to eat on Christmas Day is, an, is the handmaid of God. That man that is sitting along the road when you and your children and your, neighbor and, and, and your household were eating, they had the handmaid of God. What can you give to appreciate God? And if you, have, if you are able to do it with one of them, you have, you have done it to God. So my dear brothers and sisters, whether you are in this congregation today or you are watching me on the YouTube or you are watching me on the Facebook, what I'm trying to pass across to you today is that the mystery about this season is the giving. And not just giving for God and begotten son that God has given to every one of us. A gift that nobody can ever outshine. A giving that nobody can never go beyond. That is why God needs to be recognized. In all of this, in everything we are doing, God needs to be put first. 
Let me give you one more point, then I raise my case today. Another person that gave in the Bible that I can, after I mail Abraham, I can go to Solomon. Another person that gave, if you read your scripture very well, you realize that Solomon gave. He killed a lot of, a lot of cows to the extent that God could not overlook it. God has to call him. God has to ask from him. In what? In his what? In his dreams. And that's one thing I need to let you know that your dreams are very important. Your dreams are very important. God speaks to people in their dreams. When Joseph was about to divorce his wife, God appeared to him. He sent an angel to appear to him in his what? In his dreams. And said to him, take your wife. Your dream life is important. Don't throw them away. Appreciate your dream and follow your dreams. That dream that you think that is nothing, it might be God's word for your life. Now that's by the way. So Solomon gave to the extent that God cannot but come to him in his dreams and ask him, what do you, why are you giving all this? Why do you, why, why do you kill all this cow? Why do you make all this sacrifice for me? And God said to him, that is the second open check. Every any time you give, you are provoking the heavens. That's the second open check. God said to him, name it. What do you want? And when he, God, God said to him, tell me what you want and I will do it for you. And he said that I may be given wisdom. To rule your people. And what he, what he asked for. Even provoked heaven the more. He said. God said because you did not ask of your own. If they asked any one of us today. What do you want God to do for you? The first thing you will ask. Kill all my enemies. And the second thing is that. I want to be rich. That nobody will ever be rich than me. I want that my neighbor. That Park Bentley. And outshine every one of us in that community. I want you I want you to give me money so that I can outshine that man. I'm sure that's, that is what will be rolling on our head. If God give you an open check today, what would you ask? What would you ask God to give to you? But he asks give me wisdom and knowledge so that I would do a what? So that I will be able to rule your people. And God said, I will not only give you wisdom. Is that not an open check? I will not only give you wisdom. I will give you wisdom and I, I said, he now said to him that now or ever, said no king will be as rich as you. God gave him riches. He gave him everything. And that is why God says, seek ye first his kingdom. And every other thing shall be what? Shall be added unto him. Let's rise up on our seat. So as we are going to celebrate Christmas around the world, let us remember the sacrificial giving of God. Let's remember the sacrificial giving of God. Let's remember that somebody came to die. Somebody was released. Somebody was sown as a seed as for your sacrifice, to, to be sacrificed for your life. So let us remember. And when I was coming on stage this morning and I saw our Christmas tree, can the media show our Christmas tree? And I see at the bottom, I see a lot of gifts at the bottom. I said to myself, I said, the spirit of Christmas is in this place. The spirit of giving is in this, in this place. The spirit of God is in this place. That is a demonstration Now as we go, I believe I've dropped a word into your life today. The secret of success in life is the secret of Christmas. If you know how to give, then you know how to provoke heaven. Amen. I want you to pray this morning. Ask for one thing. I want to be Realistic, it is not easy to give. 
that is never easy to give. So I wanted to ask God, say God, I have seen this secret today. And I want to grab the secret, but give me the grace to do it. Learn the secret of giving. As the mystery of Christmas, let the secret be released into my life. Father, give me that secret, oh Lord. Give me the grace to do it. Give me the grace to be a giver. Give me the grace to be a giver, oh Lord. Lord, help me. I can't hear you. I'm sure if I ask you to be, to be killing your enemies now, this old, this old church will be burning. Grace is what you need. Please, pray this prayer. I can't hear your voice. Give me the grace, oh Lord. The grace. Oh Lord, grant me the grace, oh Lord. Begin to declare, begin to declare. Say, grant me the grace. Say, grant me the grace to be a giver. To be a kingdom giver. It's not just giving. Somebody can give and give Please. to a sacrifice. Please. Somebody can go to a shrine and build a shrine. Somebody can give to the, to the shrine. But be a kingdom what? Giver. Say, God, make me a kingdom sower. A kingdom giver. Lord, help me. That I may be a kingdom giver. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. That I may be a kingdom giver. Lord, help me. Begin to declare, begin to declare. It is not easy for you to do it. We are going into another year. The year 2019. And if God, if you want to move with God in that year, you must be a kingdom giver. Because God is about to do something in your life. God is about to transform somebody's life. And if you will be part of his blessing for the year 2019, you must be a kingdom giver. And that is why you need to pray that prayer. So that God will give you the grace to be a giver. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, God knows your heart. God knows your heart. Hallelujah. The second prayer point is this. I want you to ask God. Say, I have witnessed this Christmas. I witnessed 2018 Christmas. Say, I will witness beyond you. In the name of Jesus. Ra ba 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 ba. Aha! I know. I know people. People. The people's voice will come up now. Ra so kata I have witnessed this year, 2018 Christmas. Father, let me witness the more. Let me witness beyond. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. It's a very important moment because heaven is here this morning. Begin to sow this seed into the year 2019 for yourself. Say, I witness this season. I will witness more in life. This shall not be my last season. It shall not be my last Christmas. Some witness that of last year, 2017, but they are unable to witness 2018. It shall not be your own. It shall not be your own case in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. This shall not be my last Christmas in the world. In the name of Jesus. Masata Libaha. Begin to declare, begin to declare. Say, Lord, help me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want us to revisit this prayer point. The Holy Spirit is bringing that prayer back. I don't know if it's, if it's for any one of us here. 
and as we are praying it, you need to begin to take step. I know some of us, if they call, if they call us in our family, or maybe tradition, or anything, and they ask us to come and give, we like to give so that the whole community will know. The whole community will know that oh, that is the, those are the people that are doing it. But that's not the kind of giving that can save your life. That's not the kind of giving that can give you treasures in heaven. The kind of giving that God is expecting you to do is the kingdom-minded giving. Not the one that you sow to the traditionalist. Not the one that you sow to shrines. Not the one that you sow to the king of this world. The one that God is expecting from you is the one that you sow because of Jesus himself. Because of the love you have for God. Now let me say this thing to you. Before we before we pray that prayer. If you give me any gift. It is not enough for me. The only gift you can give to me. If you give me a personal gift. And you are not a kingdom giver in this church. If you did not sow. To the work that God has given to my hand. Your gift to me. Even if I appreciate it as a man. My spirit will not accept it. Because the only thing that God has commissioned to my hand is this ministry work. If you don't give to it, then your gift to me is just a mere gift. And if my prayer will work for you, it's the gift you have given to the work of God. Every one of you, you will fulfill your purpose in life. If this ministry fulfills its purpose, it is not just because of me. It is because the purpose of this ministry is every one of us. Because we are in this together. That's just a little digress as you are praying this morning. Say, Lord, as I'm entering into the year 2019, say, Lord, make me a kingdom giver. <laughs> make me a kingdom, what? A kingdom giver in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Let's pray that prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I, Thank you. I just want to say, say ba -ba 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 I just want to say, Baba. I just want to say, I just want to say, Baba, Baba, Eshe, Eshe, I just, I just want to say, Baba, Eshe, Eshe. Lastly, I want you to begin to thank God. Begin to appreciate Him this morning. Appreciate God this morning. Appreciate Him for His word, for His protection over your life. Appreciate Him. Can we hold? Can we hold I just want to say. Let's appreciate God. I this just want to say. I just want to say. Oh, Eshe, Eshe, Eshe. We just want to say, we just want to say, Baba, Baba, we just, we just want to say, Baba, Baba, I just want to see Baba oh, I just want to see Baba oh, I just want to see Let us be seated. 
So I was about to leave. Let's be seated, everybody. So I was about to leave. The Holy Spirit ministered to me that we should do something unusual for God this morning. Something unusual, something precious to God. And that is to sow a seed. This is not our offering. It's not our normal offering. But God wants us to give something. You know, let me tell you this thing. In the Old Testament, there was a day that God wanted to move in, the, in, in, the, in Egypt. God wanted to save the old Israelites. And God knows that he has to destroy them. And God said to them, he said to the Israelites, said, kill, a, kill a ram. And when you kill that ram, he said, the blood. So every one of you should put the blood. That when the angel of what? Angel of death is passing by. He said it will, it will pass you over. But God has seen beyond that. God knows that that can only work for a time. For one season. After that, the blood will dry up. But there is a blood that is flowing all the time. There is a blood. That, that's why God needed somebody to come and die. So that the blood will begin to flow. Begin to flow. It was a precious blood. It was a precious blood. I want us to do a sacrifice to God today. To sow it. And if you want to sow, if you want to target anything, I don't mind. But what I'm, the spirit, what God is asking me to tell you is to sow something special to God. It's not just a gift. It's not just something. It depends on how the, your capacity. It depends on your capacity. Thank you, Father. It's not for everybody. It's for those that want to see the move of God in their life. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to pray for everybody as you are doing it. I have the unction. Don't, don't, don't give an envelope for this one. It's not an envelope. This is not a, it's not a secret giving. Everyone is seeing us. It's not a secret giving. This kind of seed, sow for your son, sow for your daughter. Even if they are not here, sow something for them. Specially. If your husband is not here, sow for them. If your wife is not here, sow for them. Sacrificial, it's called sacrificial giving. Name it sacrificial giving unto God. I know this is the part that nobody wants, but everybody that are in this church know that I don't, I don't just call for it. If I'm not, if I didn't hear it, I won't say it. So prepare something. Please help me. Prepare something. Give me a Thanksgiving song. Thanksgiving song. Before we go and begin to eat our turkey, our chicken, let us sacrifice sacrificially unto God. The one that has given sacrificially into our life. A sacrifice, cease of thanksgiving, as we offer unto thee. Do it for your children. A sacrifice, cease of thanksgiving. We bring the sacrifice, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our God. Hallelujah. We bring the sacrifice of praise. Into the house of our God, as we offer, as we offer, all to Thee, a sacrifice, a sacrifice, as we offer, all to Thee, a sacrifice, is of praise. Bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our Lord. Hallelujah. We bring the sacrifice of praise 
into the heart of our God. As we offer, as we offer unto thee a sacrifice, a sacrifice, is offered. As we offer, as we offer unto thee a sacrifice, a sacrifice, is offered. As we offer, as we offer unto thee a sacrifice, a sacrifice, seeds of thanksgiving. Oh, as we offer unto thee a sacrifice. If you don't have an account and you don't have cash, you have the privilege to collect one from the machine. You can go and come back. God is waiting for you. With a heart full of praise, with a heart full of praise, be exalted, O Lord our God, O Son in the heart, O Son, O Son, O Son in the heart, O Son, O Son, O Son in the heart. With a heart full of praise, be exalted, O Lord, be exalted, O Lord our God, O Sana. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With a heart full of praise, with a heart full of praise, be exalted, O Lord, be exalted, O Lord our God. Hosanna in the high. The the instrumentalist. If you also want to be part of it, you can leave whatever you are doing. Come and sacrifice. It's for everybody. It's open to everybody. Thank you, Father. Anybody that you don't have cash, you can. I'm giving you the privilege. This money is not for me. God knows it's not coming to my account. But I'm giving you the privilege. It's a prophetic work. Thank you, Father. God. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't have, you can borrow. You can borrow for your destiny. Ask somebody behind you. Say, borrow me, I will give you after. It's for your destiny. If you don't understand. Thank you. Do we have anybody that's gone out before I pray? Yes. Anybody? Let's quiet help us. Help us. So that they can come. Glory, glory, Lord. We, we give, give you glory, glory Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory Lord. Lord. You are the mighty God. Glory, glory, Lord. Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. Hey, glory, glory, Lord. Glory, glory, glory Lord. You are a mighty about this one. The, the money we have given here is not what matters to God. It's your mind. We need to dance to him. Dance to him so that God will know that you are happy. I know some people are cursing me now. What, that's what is wrong with this pastor now. You know, it's it's not this money. It's not about It's the heart that you used to give it. Let's dance to God. Glory, glory, glory Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. We, we give, give you glory, glory Lord. Lord. Hey, hey. Yeah. Glory, glory, Lord, you are the mighty God. 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 Oh, you are the mighty God. 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 Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Come on, come on, join me, join me, join me. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, 
Sure that everybody has come back. Let us come out. Father Lord in heaven, I have akin to your word and I've given the message to your people today, and they have done likewise. Heavenly Father, I pray. Because you have shown us how to give sacrificially. Your people has given sacrificially this morning. According to our faith in you. According to our capacity. Lord God Almighty, let this sacrifice be accepted in the name of Jesus. Even for those that are giving online as well. Father, let their sacrifice be accepted in the name of Jesus. Lord God. You taught us a lesson today. A lesson of how to give sacrificially into your kingdom. And we have demonstrated it in your presence today. Father, let this be a contact, a point of contact or a blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, use this sacrifice to transform our life around. Transform our life around. Let it be a symbol of contact between you. As the blood of Jesus was a symbol to you. That any time you are angry, you look at that blood. And you say, I cannot forsake my son second time. I forsook him before. I cannot forsake him second time. And you forgive our sin. Father, let this sacrifice be a part of contact to that realm in the name of Jesus. Let every life that has given today be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I have declared. Amen. Amen.